yeah, I'm mad. I'm real mad. <laughs> I'm beyond mad. I'm I'm perplexed at the fact that the NBA and the NBA Players Association have decided to keep the play-in tournament for the 2021-2022 season. Very perplexed, very surprised, very angry. Uh, I have a lot of thoughts on this, you know, whole thing. And, you know, I have a couple of ideas, a couple of probably bad ideas, but you never know, you know, you never know. People could like these ideas, you never know. Um, but yeah, the playing tournament is here to stay, and, you know, 20 out of 30 teams potentially qualifying, you know, that have the potential, you know, obviously the top 12, you know, top 6 from each conference are locked in, and the 7, 8, 9, and 10 seeds from each conference have to play, you know, in a playing tournament. You know, obviously, that's a little bit too much. A little bit too much for my liking. It's It worked last year, and it worked this year. But it, from but now and beyond, no. No. No, 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 no. You've had, you, it, we're, we're going back to the regular schedule for some reason. When obviously, you know, a, a late December to August, you know, slate, could work out better for the NBA, in all honesty. It works out so much better. You know, it really works out much better. I don't understand it. I really don't understand it. But whatever. Whatever. I, I, uh, I, I, I don't know. But the fact that the players agree to this, you know, or at least majority of the players, it's probably, you know, some players, you know, that probably don't have the same spotlight as LeBron James, you know. You know. Let's reward mediocrity. You know, you don't want to be stuck in that seven seed. You know, seven seeds don't really deserve to make the Well, they kind of deserve it, but not really. You know, eight seeds most of the time, and I'm looking at the Eastern Conference especially because, you know, the Washington Wizards made the playoffs as the eighth seed and were, you know, under 500. But yet the Golden State Warriors had to stay home. They were over 500. You know, the only team that was, you know, the last team that could have been in, if we had the top 16 teams, you know, which makes a lot of sense, would be the Boston Celtics because they were 500 this year. That would make a lot of sense. Top 16, regardless of conference, you know, or or as I've been championing for a quite a while now, top twelve, top twelve teams. You know that'd be that'd be way better. You know, be way better. You know, maybe reduce the first round to five games. You know, you know we could do, we could reduce the first round to five games regardless if we're getting the play-in tournament. Please reduce the first round to five games, NBA. Please do that. Please. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired of the playoffs lasting so long. I, I, I just don't. I just don't know. I really don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me. It just does not make any sense. I'm perplexed. You know, I, I just don't know. I don't really know at all. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm confused. Like, where? What? What monetary purpose does this serve? You know, you're not gonna get a. You're not gonna get a matchup like, you know, the Warriors and the Lakers again. I. I don't. Th I don't think. You can get that, you know, again. I don't think you did that again. You know. <sighs> because the Western Conference has been better than the East for years. For years now. As far as parity goes. Not necessarily winning the finals every year, but having the parity to, you know, get a lot of teams. A lot. There's going to be a lot of worthy teams from the West. There's like, usually like nine or ten teams from the West that could qualify for the playoffs. You know, if we went to the top 16, you know, regardless. And what about those other teams? Why are we Why are we doing a bubble? I mean, not a bubble, a lottery. Why are we still doing a lottery for the for the um for the NBA draft? Why not do a Why not do a tournament for you know those teams? Why not do a tournament for those bottom 14 teams? You know that didn't make the playoffs. You know, you know whoever wins, you know, whoever wins the um, the tournament gets that number one, that number one pick, you know, huh, that'd be nice, you know, a tournament, to bottom 14 teams in the NBA, you know, go and get it in a tournament, that'd be nice, that'd be real nice, I'd want it, I would want that, 
that'd be cool. But no, it doesn't make any sense to the NBA. I mean, that'd be some money, you know, that'd be some more money, maybe, you know, for, you know, leagues and stuff, for the players and stuff like that, but I, I just don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. Y'all sound off to me what your ideas are, you know, what you think the NBA can do, you know, to better, you know, make the postseason and the regular season matter, because the regular season, as it stands right now, has not mattered to me in about 10 years. And it's, most, it's not because, it's not just because of Dallas Mavericks fan, and, you know, we have Jason Kidd as head coach now, and we haven't made any progress since winning the championship 10 years ago. Oh no, it's not that at all. It's 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 just I'm genuinely bored of the NBA season, regular season anyway. There's too many games. There's too much going on. I just did not. I, I'm just kind of bored of the NBA. I really I really want to like the NBA more. You know, but there has to be some changes that make sense. And the playing tournament does not make any sense going forward. It made sense this year and last year because of COVID. Not this year. It does not make any sense anymore. Let it go. Let it go. And nix the idea of an in-season tournament too. Do not go to an in-season tournament. Let's not do that. But y'all sound off in the comments. You know, say something. You know, say something interesting, please. You know, like, share, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell, do all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next video soon. I'll take care. Have a good rest of your weekend.